international students are temporary residents with study permits or refugee status in Canada. International students in Canada have a lot of challenges to overcome to reach a successful career. We are representing here some of the challenges faced by the international students. First of all, students face difficulties in finding a good and affordable housing. Housing issues affected all international students and related to affordability, adequacy, and suitability. Students also discussed the personal impacts of inadequate housing and homelessness. A survey done on 571 randomly selected international students shows that on average, international student participants had moved twice since beginning their studies. 22 participants lived in a university residence, 47 rented housing off campus, and 18 shared accommodations. Two lived in a fraternity or sorority house, and one rented a bachelor suite, one room apartment, 19 lived alone. The other participants lived with family members, including parents, spouses or children, with friends, classmates or roommates they did not know previously, or with a boyfriend or girlfriend. Secondly, international students face difficulties in taking a good and healthy diet. Limited access to authentic traditional foods contributes to the stress, and grieving for home can occur. Other authors have reported that changes in students' environments are related to increased unhealthy behaviors, including a decrease in overall diet quality. For international students food had significant meaning in the terms of the memories of their home country, their tastes in home country and maintenance of physical health, and eating with others. A research done by Mount St. Vincent University on international students shows that most of the international students felt that the food in their country was healthier than the Canadian food. Participants believed cooking for themselves was the best method to ensure that what they ate was healthy. Describing the physical toll on her body, one student commented, My digestion is not as good as in my country and also the smell from my mouth is not good. One participant stated, I usually cook dishes at home with my friends because it is difficult for me to accept all kinds of native food. I prefer to make dishes in the way of my own countries. The third challenge is a very common one and that is homesickness. Homesickness is the distress or impairment caused by an actual or anticipated separation from home. Sufferers typically report a combination of depressive and anxious symptoms, withdrawn behavior, and difficulty focusing on topics unrelated to home. Indeed, nearly all students miss something about home when they are away, making homesickness a nearly universal experience. The last difficulty faced by international students is not usual but still some students face difficulty in understanding their needs in the new country. Initially, international students need assistance with the most ordinary things, they suddenly need a winter coat that's warmer than anything they can buy at home. They need an international adapter to support their back home electronic equipments like their laptop, their mobile charger and other electronic appliances. Some of the students have to buy a new mobile phone because sometimes the cell phone from their country doesn't support Canadian SIM card. In closing, to prevent these types of difficulties one should consult his elder first or if they have any relative living in Canada they should speak to him first before leaving their home country. Secondly. Almost every Canadian college have a different department to help international students, they have counsellors for helping international students in any kind of difficulty, they also take care of students' health and help them study fluently. Also, many colleges give international students their international health insurance which covers their health-related issues and give them discount on medication. Students can consult their teachers, their friends, and other counselors to overcome these types of difficulties.